Welcome back, Fight Fans. My name is Nate Freeman. Today I'm joined by the 2022 IFMA Worlds champion and the 2022 World Games uh, silver medalist, making her professional debut very soon. It's T Money, Tierra Brandt. Tierra, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Excited to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, so I guess first off, let's go ahead and um, we're a few months removed from the World Games 2022. Um, where you competed against some of the best in the world representing the U.S. Um, just give me your reflections on that tournament, how you felt, um, and coming out of it, you know, what was your overall reflections of the event? Uh, yeah, I'm, the World Games is probably I mean, the biggest tournament I've done so far. It's my biggest fight, really, co-fights that I've had. Um, but it was exciting. It was a great experience. Uh, it's definitely, it was like a tournament of champions. So for those that don't know, like you had to be either a gold medalist or a silver medalist just to qualify. So it was just basically a tournament full of champions. Um, my performance personally, I, um, I was, I felt great. Uh, I felt confident. I felt like I had one of my best performances. Um, I fought Iman Malo in the Farnos, who's an idol of mine. She's a superstar in the sport. Um, I thought I won the fight, but, uh, I just came a little bit short on the scorecard so there's that but um again like I said it was uh, I felt like it was my best performance I've had yet and it was an honor to kind of step in the ring across from her so that's exciting as well and it kind of just opens up a new journey for me so that's always great yeah absolutely and um it was a really close fight um you know when I was there watching it I I thought you won but I was obviously yeah. a little biased being part of um yeah. being and American and all of that, that. but <laughs> um, I did. I did think you won. If that gives you any, yeah. Experience. Most a lot of people. A lot of people say that uh, it was. I mean, when you're going up against a superstar like that, and if it's that close, like you know, like it's going to be hard to w steal the decision. But it is what it is. I mean, it was a great fight, and it was an honor to fight her. So I'll just take that with me. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So then, moving forward, um, you. Um, are competing you're making your professional debut like i said very soon you're going to be on the challenger which is a tv show um very similar i'm i come from the world of mma um mm -hmm. it's very similar to the ultimate fighter um except yeah. it's a muay thai version um and it's based in malaysia um so talk to me first and foremost about um how this opportunity came about like how did you get contacted about joining the show um, it really was, uh, pretty simple, I guess. I mean, I just, in order to be selected, you kind of have to be one of the, I mean, one of the best, only the best made into the show. So they want obviously great fighters. They want great personalities. So it's, um, good for me, I guess. Uh, but after the world games, I mean, after my fight with Iman, I think it was kind of a, an eye opener to a lot of people that like, yes, I'm young. Um, and I'm technically still amateur, but um, my skill level I don't is not amateur. So uh, after the World Games, I got a couple of calls and messages from uh, Michael Corley, who's our president for the United uh, United States Port Muay Thai Federation, and he kind of told me like, just hey, like the show is coming back. They're doing a female cast this year, so uh, just kind of keep your opportunities open. Like they they're gonna look at you a little bit. Uh, and then I got a call that says, and uh, they want me a part of the cast. So just short story <laughs> yeah yeah that, that sounds pretty straightforward um yeah. you i think like, like you mentioned you um have really had the skills to turn pro for a while now um what made now the correct time to do that and why um yeah why are you using this what this uh challenger series to make your professional debut yeah um well again i mean uh, my parents are both my coaches, and uh, the thing in the states that Muay Thai fights in general are not super common. Like it's not, you don't have as many opportunities. And again, other um, just a you know a background. They wanted me to get experience before I did turn pro, and I had to fight all of these top dogs. So, like uh, I currently have just shy of 60 fights which is more than most people in the in the United States right now so uh, but I've also been doing it since I was a kid so like most people like I racked up my fights when I was really young so 
when I turned 18 and I was still, I mean, I'm still amateur, but I was fighting the adults now. I was fighting the bigger names um, and I was winning those ones. I was just kind of just racking up experience to prepare myself to go to the professional stage. And then uh, once I meddled the World Games, it was like, it's going to be really hard for me to find fights now as an amateur after that. And I'm pretty much kind of accomplished everything I have in the amateurs and I've wanted to. The next step was just to not fighting for money, like or the fame or whatever. There's not much of that in the sport, but I needed, you know, the next step is challenge. And the challenger kind of was a good timing. It was like they contacted me pretty much right after the world game. So they said, I mean, if you want in, like you're in. Um, obviously, it is professional like production, so I would have to make my pro debut either with them or right before. But um, we thought, you know, it's a great opportunity. TV show, so it's great, you know, like uh, publicity wise and uh, to kind of get eyes on me a little bit. And I could fight all the top, some of the top girls in the world all in one spot. So we're like, it's, it's a great opportunity to kind of turn my from amateur to pro's chance. Absolutely. And to clarify, can you just sort of explain for those that don't know what the challenger is? Can you just sort of give a quick summary mm -hmm. of what that is? Yeah. So, um, like you said, I'm, if people are familiar with the May background, it's just like the Ultimate Fighter. So, we basically all this tournament itself, it's a six man tournament. So, six girls, six guys. We all live in a house together. We all train together. We live together, fight with each other. Um, so, basically, there's that part. It's like the reality TV part. And then, uh, so we all fight each other once we get past that. Um, obviously, it'll be. So six man, so I believe that's three fights. So you win, you move on, you lose, you're out. Uh, winner will take home a big grand prize. I can't exploit that yet, but um, winner does take a big prize. So that's a big thing, um, but pretty simple. Yeah, so there's that, it's just a good experience. It is different to kind of see, you know, you see the fighters' personalities and you see how they really are like outside of the ring. So, I mean, there's gonna be great fights, probably some drama, um, but it's always a good, a good experience. But I think the people should be excited to see it. Absolutely. And um, I think the theme for this show is USA versus the world. Um, what exactly goes into that? And how do you feel about representing the USA versus the world? Yeah. So um, I'm honored to kind of be selected part, uh, to be the part of the cast, but it's USA versus the world. So Mainly, I mean, um, I think for a long time till, I mean, we're just now kind of getting recognition, but the United States has been always like the underdog. So uh, this, the show, the purpose of the show is to kind of take the top fighters in America to show that we belong with the top fighters in the world, no matter where you're from. Um, I, I can't say who's in it yet. I really don't know who's the other foreigners that are in it. Um, but it's kind of just to show that we belong at the top and that we shouldn't be underestimated. So... Um, there's that, but it's a great opportunity to kind of see, you know, the different styles, the different kind of ways other countries and even just people kind of take on in their career and once they step in the ring. Yeah. And you've been training in Thailand for the past uh, few weeks at this yeah. point, right? Yeah, I've been here for uh, almost six weeks now. Been here for a little while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, over and... month, just over a month now. Nice. Um so what has that been like? Like, how's training been going? Um, I saw a video of you uh, hitting pads on the beach, a very beautiful mm -hmm. beach, and that looked like yeah. a ton of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it's been great. Um, I've been here. I was at uh, Sinti Noise Gym, which is a very small gym um, right outside Bangkok in Padmutani. I was there for three weeks, and they train super hard. I mean, harder than most people can imagine. I was there for three weeks. Um, they're good friends of mine. They're good friends of my family and great fighters. They have great, mainly just to, like small like Thai fighters. I don't get many foreigners over there. So I was there for a little bit. And then I came to Fairtex. I'm at Fairtex now. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot more foreigners. The training's great. It's obviously it's still really hard, um, but I'm in the best shape of my life, I think right now. And it's a great experience. I mean, it's my first time out here uh, by myself, really. Usually my parents come with me, my dad's with me. He's my coach, so he loves to be here. Um, but it's my first time on my own, so that's always exciting. Um, but I'm just preparing, yeah, preparing for the challenger right now. The next step, yeah. Absolutely. Um, 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so, okay, before I let you go, um, I want to give you the chance to give any shout outs to thank any sponsors. Um, how can people follow you on social media? Um, yeah, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to start off. I want to thank, obviously, my mom and dad, my parents. I feel like they are my biggest supporters. They're also my coaches. They're holding it down back home. Um, they couldn't come with me this time, but I know they wanted to be here. Um, Sponsor-wise, um, Sasha Wu is a big sponsor of mine. Great friends, uh, great apparel, tie shorts, all that. We were doing that hitting pads on the beach. We were down in Phuket for a little bit, so it was great to see them here. Um, I have Muay Tadic and Fair Takes here for hosting me, training me while I'm here. And my family at St. Tinoise, I want to always shout them out. They're a great, great part of my life. Um, St. Tinoise, who passed away last year, um, unfortunately, but he's a big part of my career. I want to thank him and his team for getting me as far as I've gone right now. But that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys want to follow, I have Instagram. You guys follow me on there. I'm on Facebook now. My parents made me download it, but I'd never use it, so it's not a great outlet. Um, but Instagram is my main, my main kind of social media platform. So you guys follow me on there and see my story. Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you on the Challenger. Um, how can people watch the Challenger for those here in America? So it won't air right away. Um, we'll shoot the show, and then they're looking to get it on like kind of a big platform back home. So we're shooting for like Amazon or Netflix, hopefully. Um, but again, I can't confirm any of this. So I'm, I have no idea really 100%. It's kind of just ideas that were thrown at me. But once I know and once it's confirmed, you guys will know for sure. Absolutely. And we'll look forward to watching it one way or the other and watching yeah. you on it and watching you represent the USA versus the world. This has been Tierra Brandt, T-Money. Uh, thank you for your time today and best of luck on thank the show. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.